In the earlier videos, we have learned the first three steps of a glycolysis and now we will study the fourth step of a glycolysis that is the cleavage of a fructose 1,6 bisphosphate. In this reaction, the fructose 1,6 bisphosphate in the presence of enzyme aldolase cleaves into glycerol D8,3-phosphate which is a phosphorylated aldose sugar and dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is a phosphorylated keto sugar. As there is very small difference in the Gibbs free energy of a reactant and product, this is a reversible type of a reaction. So, aldolase is actually the short form of fructose 1,6 bisphosphate aldolase. This aldolase are of two types, type first and type second. Type first particularly found in plants and animals and type second found in fungus and bacteria. Type first forms chip based intermediates while type second do not form chip based intermediate. Instead of that, it involves the zinc ion. The zinc ion polarizes the carbonyl group at a C2 position and stabilizes enolate intermediates which are found in this reaction. So there are some organisms in which both types of these uh, aldolases are found. So this is just a reverse aldol condensation reaction. We know that in aldol condensation reaction, the carbonyl compound reacts with enol or enolate to form beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds. But in this reaction, the beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds splits into ketone and aldehyde. That means this is the just reverse of that of the aldol condensation reaction. This reaction is also called as retro aldol condensation reaction. Now we will see what are the structural changes taking place in this reaction. This is the structure of fructose 1,6 bisphosphate. Now, this fructose 1,6 bisphosphate cleaves into two structures. One is DHAP that is dihydroxyacetone phosphate and second is glycerol D8,3 phosphate. So, how these two products are formed? Now, see here, the blue line appearing here. See here, this blue line. This indicates that this is the cleavage point. That means this carbon number 1, 2 and 3 from this DHAP and whereas the carbon number 4, 5 and 6 from this glycerol D8, 3 phosphate. So now we will see how these changes are taking place. So this is the carbon number 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5, 6. So carbon number 1 is forming the phosphate of first position in the DHAP. Carbon number second forms the carbonyl carbon of a DHAP. Whereas the third carbon forms this third CH2OH group of this DHAP. So the three carbons form this three carbons of DHAP. Now see here. This is the first position of a glycerol D8 3 phosphate. This is second and this is the third. So this first position that is the carbonyl carbon of glycerol D8 3 phosphate is formed from the fourth position of a original glucose carbon. This second carbon of glycerol D8 3 phosphate is formed from the fifth carbon of original glucose. Whereas this phosphate group which is present at third position of a glycerol D8 3 phosphate is originally present at sixth position of a carbon. So, in this way, this six carbon molecules splits into two molecules of a three carbon each. And this first, second, and third forms keto sugar, whereas this fourth, fifth, and sixth carbon forms glycerol D8 3 phosphate, which is a aldose sugar. So in this way, these two intermediates are formed. Thank you.